Hi everybody, this is Matt Barnhart reporting live from my bedroom with the hot pink couch. You're watching Runner Space Live! Now you might ask yourself, why is he doing the show from his bedroom? Well, it's simple, you guys. I just got a new laptop, and this thing has this crazy program called Photo Booth. Um, it has a lot of cool effects. For example, check this out, check this out. I can make my face look like this. Or like this. My head, it's shrinking. Ah! Oh, I got no head, I got no head. JK, I got a head. Pick a pick a Picasso. I will rule the world with my brains. <laughs> Okay, and check this out. I can change the background. I can run out of the shot, run back in, different background. Check this out. We can put our beloved Runner Space Live cameraman, Ian Turpin, right beside me. So with this incredible new technology I found, I'm probably going to do all the rest of the episodes of Runner Space Live from my laptop. What? No? Oh, it sucks. It looks like crap. Okay. Maybe not, but this episode, yes. Moving on to the awkward video of the week. On hard. Shush. You jik to that or? You want to take? Moving on to the runner space rundown. It's the high school rundown. Okay, enough playing around. The big guns came out this weekend. US number one North Central boys dominated their state meet with 24 points. In that great state of Washington, we have a new US number two. It's Dana Hills of California. After a sick showing at Mount Sac, the Dana Hill boys of California moved from 12th to second, according to Die Stats Harrier Top 25. In Illinois, it was going down, son. US number three Naperville North boys just barely beat out York 84 to 85 at the prestigious 3A state meet. That's a pretty big deal because York is the number five team in the nation. And of course, we gotta talk about U.S. number four, Albuquerque Academy of New Mexico. They just held off a very impressive showing by U.S. number 15, Los Alamos, at their state meet winning 31 to 34. On the ladies' side, I'm starting with U.S. number five because I found them the most impressive. Listen to this. The Chattanooga girls of Delaware scored a perfect 15 points at their state meet. What? what? Freaking unheard of. Dice Stat said it was the state meet record. Well, Dud's the state meet record. Who else is gonna score lower? And their sixth and seventh runners were also in the top 10. Ridiculous. 15 points. Woo! U.S. number four, Geneva of Illinois won their state meet by 115 points. And at the New York State Public High School Championships, Fayetteville Manlius beat out U.S. number 12, Saratoga. And as we all know, Fayetteville Manlius is number one in... What, they aren't? They aren't number one anymore? Who, who's ahead of them? Oh my gosh, it looks like we have a new number one for the first time this season. And it's... Drumroll. Can you give me a drumroll? No? Okay, it, I'm just gonna say it. It's... Saugus High School of California! After an uber impressive showing at Mount Sac, they moved from US number two to US number one. Some impressive individual times at the Illinois State Meet this weekend. Jeff Thode ran 418, beating Steve Sulkin by a second. It was a three mile, not 5K. Calm down. Also in Illinois, Lindsay Flanagan continued her unbeaten season running 1654 for the three mile. Andrew Colley in Virginia ran a 1502. Megan Risco ran a 1738 in that same meet. Both were course records. Young and Miller both ran 1518 at the Washington State Meet, but in different divisions. That's about all we have time. For there were more impressive performances, check them out on our high school page right here at runnerspace.com. That's runnerspace.com backslash high school. In the college bro rundown, it wasn't so much division one, but division two where all the action was this week. In college cross country, the division two West Regionals went horribly awry. Of course, officials sent the leaders in the wrong direction, but then when they realized it, they had to send them back through the woods to try to get to the front of the back, but then they just ended up calling off the race, but it was three miles into the race. And then they're like, hey, let's just redo the race like two hours later, and everybody else is like, what the F? But they do it anyway. And then Chico State just ended up dominating everybody. Scotty Boz got his first regional win and everybody was happy. Well, probably not actually. They're probably actually really mad about the whole situation, but um, yeah. Uh, anyways, moving on. On the pro cross country circuit, Providence alumni Mary Colin and Dylan White won the USATF New England Championships. Mo Farah, the 2006 European Cross Country Championships champion from Great Britain, plans to do the championships again this year. He's been hurt with a groin strain for 12 months. Ouch, a groin strain? 
So he missed last year's championships, but he's ready to get back in action. In long, long distance news, Kemi Simic of Bend, Oregon got second at the 100K World Cup in Italy. Good job, Kemi. Looking forward to this upcoming weekend in Division One cross country. We've got regional championships. Watch out for them. It's the road race and rundown. 35-year-old Paul Lacour of Kenya won the Athens Marathon. In a course record time this last weekend running. Right around 2.12. Apparently he was going to run in shoes with holes in them until somebody provided him with new ones. Holy shoes, that's a tough guy. <laughs> Get it? Holy, holy shoes. Um, moving on. It is official. Naoko Takahashi, first lady under 220 in the marathon, is retiring. She will be missed. She was also an Olympic champion and enjoyed long walks on the beach. In the Delhi Half Marathon in India, Dariba Murga ran a world season leading 59-15. He ran for Ethiopia, also running for Ethiopia, Asela Fetch Mergia. Won the women's half marathon in 58-17. A sweep for the Ethiopians, baby. And that's the rundown. Now switch back to my eyesight camera. Oh well, shoot everybody, I think the show was done! Make sure to tune in next week. Just twist, shake it a baby now, shake it a baby, and I twist my face, I twist my face, shake, 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 shake my baby now, shake it baby. That's about all, so tune in next week, you hear? I probably, I probably won't still look like this. I'll probably look more like this. Yeah. As for me, now I'm gonna go sit down, relax on a beautiful beach. Just, you know, relax, not worry about anything. Nothing unexpected would probably ever happen. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the roller coaster's back! Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is frightening. This is frightening. It's still moving. Um, ah. Uh, this is uh, Runner Space Live, signing out. <laughs>